Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impressions on the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. Now this has been repackaged and it says new formula on there. This is the old packaging, old formula and guys this is like probably along with the Pro Longwear like my favorite foundation. I'm gonna be so devastated if this is not even better than this. So I have very, very high hopes. I just got mine from the supermarket, so I wasn't sure on the color range. I think this was the darkest that they had. The color is nude beige. I hope it's not too pink based, but it was all that they had kind of thing and I just picked up because I saw it. I was just like, oh, I am going to test it out today. Wear it the full day and see how it wears. It is currently 9.07 in the morning. Looking at the two bottles, yes, I'm so excited that it has a pump. That is the number one thing that I see and I'm just so over the moon about. I obviously love this foundation, but I hate the fact that you have to like pour it out or put it on your finger, then wipe it on your face. Like I just hate that. So I'm very happy that it has a pump. It's still the same size, the 30 mils. Can't see anything on there that says SPF, which is good. Microflex formula, 24 hour wear, no transfer, which is what I get from this. I love it. So what I'm going to do is prime half my face. I'm going to do this side here and prime with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now, guys, I am still working out my lighting and setup at this point in time. So I've tried something was that you, Koki? So I'm just going to prime this side. There obviously weren't any testers at the supermarket either, so. Oh, that looks pink. That's pink based. Damn it. So I'm just spreading it around with my fingers and then I'm going to go over with my damp beauty blender and spread it out. Wow, that oxidizes. Already. So that's just with one pump, just in that little area there. So I can see that that already provides really good coverage. I knew it would. So I'll just do the rest of this half of my face because that didn't even cover it all. So here's another pump. I know it doesn't match me completely. I'm just going to have to get over it. But there's just two pumps on this side of my face. They weren't complete pumps, but yeah, really good coverage. Okay, so there's one layer. I love the fact that it just dries matte. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a little bit more on like my extra spots, like my redness around here and you know, just another layer just to tidy everything up because I do like full coverage foundation. Okay, so there's two layers of the foundation. I know it doesn't match me. And also I tanned with the Loving Tan Dark Bronze one, the eight hour one, not the two hour express one. So that will develop throughout the day as well. So that's something else to think about. Hopefully I'll get a bit deeper. I pretty much got a whiteboard outside and it's reflecting light. So it makes things a little bit lighter than what they are. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my makeup. It is now 9.19 and I will come back and show you how I feel about it so far love it gives a flawless finish to me it doesn't look cakey or anything it just looks it just looks really flawless and that's why i love this foundation so much so yeah i will see you when i have finished the rest of my makeup okay so it's now 10 35 i've completed my makeup tutorial it took me a little bit longer today i don't know why it always takes me a long time let's not joke anyway um about the foundation um, I think it actually turned out not too bad, like color wise and everything. I know the lighting is off, like it looks quite dull here. Um, so what I'm going to do is insert a photo with and without flash. I obviously haven't seen them yet, but I'm going to predict that there's no flash. I might even insert like a little vlog clip to show you how it looks on the other camera because I don't know, this just really washes me out. But I really like the finish of the foundation. So I just wanted to quickly show you the foundation, how it's sitting on my face on the vlog camera because it's different to that camera and how it all turned out and everything. So yes, that is how it looks. It's nice and matte. Let's see how it develops throughout the day and I will check back in with you in a few hours. Bye. Okay, so I feel like I look like a hot mess right now, which I am. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and I've just done the try-ons for my clothing haul and I was sweating by the end of it. Like I was literally like sweating. I needed to go in the aircon because I was so hot and wow, I cannot believe my makeup held up. I even had a few tops to try on like the roll neck ones and they like 
slid over my forehead and I'm like, oh, that's going to pull that off. But holy crap, everything is so well in place. Like the only thing, well, actually, you know what? It's come off on my nose. Damn it. That's the only thing like on my forehead, it's perfect, but it's just come off on my nose there. I was going to say it's... It's separated on my nose. Like you can tell from my nose. Looks like my pores are just like really sticking out there. Everything still looks really matte. Like I just look kind of glowy. Foundation wise, it is looking amazing. <gasps> oh, I just touched that. Oh my God, it's gone so cakey right here. It's like cracked right here. I don't think the old one ever did it, unless it did it and I didn't notice it. I understand this is way too close, but I hope you can just see what the, and how it's gone on my nose. In saying that, I tried on like 20 things or more. I can't believe that. That's going to be hard for me to just leave. That's gone so bad there. I wonder if it was the application or whatever. Okay, so apart from that, everywhere else, like just these spots, everything else looks perfect. I'm going to check back in with you in a couple of hours. What time did I apply it? Like 9 o'clock? So 9, 9 till 4. That's not too bad considering like how good it looks. I know I have like bags under my eyes. I'm just really, really tired. So excuse them, but I will see you in a few hours. Hey guys, I'm back and it's 830 at night. My makeup at the end of the day, I think overall it's held up really well. It has gone, it's not lasted as well as the old formula. It makes me really, really sad because I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting, but I look really, really glowy. I could really do it with a touch up. This looks absolutely terrible. And like around my nose and everything, it doesn't look amazing. Like my makeup's all creased underneath my eyes. Like, I mean, I guess everywhere else, apart from here, looks not too bad. Like, I'm ready to take off my makeup anyway, so. Look, my opinion about this one is a bit tricky because I'm so in love with the old formula and in this very first impressions, it's not as good as the old formula, but I guess, like, I just need to try it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did prime one side of my face. This side... The unprimed side looks definitely not as good as the prime side. I would have to say definitely not as good. Hence why this side went worse than this side. Primed side is so much better. So primer definitely makes a difference. Although I'm really torn between this foundation because I absolutely love the old one. I don't really know what else to say. I guess I have been wearing it for nearly 12 hours. It is meant to be a 24 hour foundation, but I'm ready to take it off. I'm ready to take my lashes off and ready for bed. So I wouldn't say that last 24 hours, 12 hours, doing pretty good. Like, I mean, I guess if you've got a full day of work and you come home and do a touch up and if you have to go out for dinner or something, this will be fine. Perhaps not something that you have to be out of the house for like all day and everything, if you know what I mean. You know what's funny is my very first first impressions video was actually on the original one of these. So that is all for me and the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour new year formula. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Anyway, this is my tutorial. I don't know when it will be out, but um, I was just, yeah, super inspired by this. So we are going to film the um, house question and answer video today.